Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. It's like meeting of January. Uh, a little short supply of people, but uh, one trustee short, one fire chief short, uh, but the important folks are here, so sure. on we go. I would now accept a motion to adopt the meetings, minutes of the meeting of January 6th, 2020. I so move. I will second that. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? There were a few minor corrections. corrections. Yeah, it was a long pile, it was, wasn't it? It was. Well, we, those will be corrected. Okay. Any other ones? No, I thought those were fine. Okay. Um, hearing no additional comment, may we vote please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mucher? Yes. I now accept a motion to approve payment bills in the amount of $69,554.28, broken down general fund $1,960.22, fire fund $16,597.13, cemetery fund $1,457.92, EMS billing $7,957.98, and road bridge $3,000. $712.80, and finally, capital project $29,910.25. So, a copy I have has had $1,000 as the yeah, total and $1,000. Okay. I can't find mine. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I did correct one. So, yes. so I, $1,000 for the $500. I approve, oh, I, I move okay. approval oh, yeah. of payment and bills in a total of $70,554.28. Right. And it includes general of Two thousand nine six zero. Right. Like the last and all the other numbers you listed. The two five hundred dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Hearing no further comments, may we vote, please? Uh, Mr. Meacher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Just as an aside, this is actually. <laughs> I mean, we do this every two weeks, but this is like twenty checks, right? Uh huh. So actually, I think this time is twenty-four checks. Uh, uh, just to say, this is sort of like a 1803 process where we. Uh, 1803 is that when the state was born? Yeah, that is. <laughs> you know that that we we have to authorize each expenditure. Uh, it's not like the village where they, when they make a vote for the whole year, it's authorized and then and then employees can write the checks. Yeah. Uh, well, this well, is the way we've always done so it. I'm, I'm just, we are a little more ahead of time than that because, you know, Miami Township was not formed until 1816. Okay. So, Excuse me. <laughs> we had, but I'm trying to point out, every so often I just think it's worth pointing out that this is a different system. Why are we doing what we're doing? Tradition. Yeah, because Well, and, and if we don't do it this way, the auditors will slam us. So. Oh, well, then that's why we do it. <laughs> Okay, corresponds for this period registration uh, for the Date Development Corporation, Corporation's Coalition's annual meeting. Now available. Uh, time sensitive collective bid program. We have to uh, inspect our roads and submit our figures for I will work bids. In the, on that in the next week. <coughs> Do the first, you said? This is, no, I think, different. something different. Oh, oh, excuse me. This is where we all drive around and see how bad the roads are. Okay. Decide Never mind. Yeah. how much we have to spend. Right. And we'll do that. that right and then there. you fill out these forms to yep. tell them how much what you want or something. Um, I had a message uh, on the first of uh, or on the tenth of January from Brian Housh asking me if I would fill out a capital budget request to the state. Uh, House of uh, Representative Rick Corrales for our Yellow Springs Clifton Correct Collect Connector Program. So I did that. Uh, there was an email from uh, the uh, DSC members, well, not the members, from to the members from Lisa Krieger. Uh, we take this up, but we don't need to take this up. The village has decided to suspend the uh, economic. Sustainability. Sustainability Commission uh, as basically a result of the uh, Hell Springs Development Corporation coming on board and some other internal changes. So 
that apparently uh, is going to alleviate Mark of one of his meetings that he's going to. Um, made, made some minor changes in the Yale Springs News Red Book that's coming out this spring. Uh, I was torn whether to use the old address or the new address since, since it's pretty much halfway through and I was instructed to use the old address. We have a, a, a steering committee at Yale Springs. Uh, we're heavy in Yale Springs today. Uh, we have a steering committee for the Yale Springs uh, Comprehensive Plan Update Committee that's uh, in process, which will also have a open house tomorrow night at, at Mills, uh, Mills Lawn for the general public, if everyone's invited. I have a um, couple of messages back and forth about cleaning out the oil water separator that went to the firehouse and, and breaking news, as they say, that was done today and it uh, passed with flying colors. So and that is what's on site here mm -hmm. to catch uh, the runoff water from when we wash our trucks. And yeah, that the trench drains out there all, yeah. all go to it. Uh, and we have one being installed in the new firehouse also. So uh, it was cleaned out um, and, and visually inspected and passed that. And that, the, that information will then be uh, forwarded on to Bowser Mortar, who's doing our phase one environmental study. This was the last thing they were waiting for. And then we'll get a, a report uh, on the building's environmental condition. And we did get a preliminary report. To she, yeah, she said it was, everything was fine. Everything was fine except for the ceiling tile or something like that. Well, or they didn't do the ceiling. They didn't. They didn't do the ceiling tiles, and there's asbestos along the, the perimeter of the building mm -hmm. that's behind the green green panels. But that's not considered to be part of the environmental okay. study. Okay. Uh, and basically, as long as somebody doesn't start tearing them down, they can be there pretty much. As they want. A message from MBRPC about resignation of a uh, employee, a uh, nice lady who worked there, Kim Lane. And she was kind of new, appointed, wasn't she? She was not there very long, a couple of years, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, we were surprised that we looked back, and I think it was like three years how long she'd been there. Uh, some information about the executive committee of RPCC that we that met yesterday that we probably will go over real quick. Um, committee assignment reports later on. Uh, minutes from the Green County Township Association. That Steve Ross is such a brown noser. He cranks his minutes out like the day after it happens. Nobody does that. You know. Especially the previous. <laughs> easy, easy, easy now. Obviously he doesn't do anything else. Yeah, okay. Uh, some, some fast facts from the fire chief about last year's um, uh, statistics. Uh, um, total runs are up 25% in 2018. I never thought they'd get that high. 14, 17. 25%. Uh, and uh, are we going to have a firehouse report? We are. Have a firehouse report? We probably will. Fire department report. You want to talk about it under that? Or? Oh, okay. Well, this could be a combination of correspondence and firehouse report because that's the only thing I've got. So there. Do you, do you, I have it too, but do you, how much of that is Bath Township? Well, 109 incidents. Okay, well that's not 25%, so. Okay. Yeah, he said, he, he did make in his memo, wherever that is, uh, he said even if you took Bath Township out, it would be a 7% increase. Uh, last but not least, Kind of last but not least, we have uh, uh, lots of uh, delinquent tax bills from our Green County Treasurer regarding the new firehouse property that we are uh, working through the state legislature to have that uh, removed from. Yeah, I just put uh, this on the table for yeah, that, That's fine. For um, fun. Although I do have a question now that I'm, it kind of goes back to paying the other bills. There's a, there's a tax bill in here for the the new cemetery, the yeah. Grove Cemetery. Right. And I understand that we fought them about having the prior 
uh, CAUV, which was removed, and then we had to pay the old taxes before we bought it. That's but what I was assuming that this was is for. A, this is something new. I mean, this is for this is for time when we owned it outright and should be tax exempt. Well, and we can call them. I mean, I assume I knew I knew I, I'm aware of the conversation we had, and you said that that you appealed it, and they said too bad. Mm -hmm. So I was assuming, which you know what that makes it out of me and you, but um, that you know they were sending us a bill for that then because. We didn't, we didn't win the appeal, and so they sent us a bill. You know, we hadn't gotten a bill previous to that for the back taxes. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I was thinking that was for. <clears throat> but, so I paid it, but you know what? We haven't sent the, we haven't sent the check yet, so <laughs> you know, we, can take, we can hold on to it and find out. The check is right there. Mm -hmm. See? CAUB recoupment, $1,607.54. Prior delinquent, and everything else is zeros. This is current net full year tax. Current. But, but it said, read it what it says again. CAUB recoupment. Yeah, the recouping, the CAUB um, deal go. <laughs> They're recouping it, so that's, it's a back thing. Well, you, you, <laughs> that's my, you, you that's would, my. You would think that, other than that. Their bill is for $1,457.92, and the current net full year tax is $1,457.92. The CAUV recoupment is $1,607.54. Uh, well, different amount. I guess. And the check here. is in the middle. The, oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, the check is for oh, you know, I that do. way, and we also have a very small uh, drainage, a ditch, a ditch payment. Yeah, we pay three dollars and seventy-eight cents a year. Right here, that's for so the check is for both of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you want me to make a phone call and see and make sure they know what they're doing? Please. Where's the ditch? Um, in front of your place, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's in front of your. Oh, garage. in front of the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Out of, out of yeah. the Whitehall property. And wherever it goes. I guess it's out in the front by the road, right? Yeah. Actually, fire department report does have quite a few things. And um, three resolutions. I don't know where they are. Uh, I have them right here. Okay. <coughs> well, uh, note that I haven't signed that yet, so I'll wait till you. Oh yeah. Sort it out. But it, sure. It's for the. It's for only one of those amounts. It's not for both of them. Right. Yeah, right. We're not contesting the $3.78. It's for the $1,400, not the $1,600. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, we have uh, received a, uh, a message from uh, Elaine Brown, the Bath Township fiscal officer, and she basically says, uh, just talked to Steve Ross and pointed out that your resolution 2018-57 has December 31st, 2019 as the end date for the agreement between Bath Township and Miami Township for service, etc. Well, the, the agreement itself, the real agreement, has December uh, 31st, 2020 on it. So what, what is she saying who wants us to... She was asking, Correct that, asking us, it. yeah, asking us to uh, uh, agree to the other, you know, make it so they both agree to together to be 2020. And so I printed it out, and she has the strangest. Yeah, I know that, that, that that's whatever she printed out. There. But I printed out the actual yeah, uh, resolution, uh, yeah. amended it to be 2020, and uh, I would accept a, res a motion to adopt resolution 2020-03 for the provision of fire rescue, emergency medical and fire inspection service for Miami Township to Bath Township for a period of uh, January 1, 2020 to December 31st, 2020, as agreed upon between our two boards uh, in uh, 2018. I so move. Okay, there's a motion. I will second that. Any further discussion uh, regarding this resolution? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. <clears throat> it's 
So this means we moved on into the fire department report? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have also a contract for fire services in Green Township? By golly, we do. I have not heard of this. Yes, this is our yearly. We do this every year. Um, we used to have a meeting every year. They'd come to us and we'd go to them to talk about Clifton Cemetery. And, uh, uh -huh. We used to. We used to, and so other things. This. Uh, this is the, you know, this is the Clifton portion. Right. Okay. <coughs> okay, this resolution is 2020-04, reads, whereas the trustees of Green Township, Clark County, desire to secure fire services for all their residents, and whereas the trustees of Miami Township desire to provide said fire services to the citizens of Green Township within the incorporated limits of the village of Clifton from the period of January 1, to December 31st, 2020, and whereas a mutually agreed upon cost of this service has been determined to be a flat sum of $1,500 for the fire service. Actually, it's fire, fire and EMS service. I don't know why I didn't put any of that in there. Oh, no, it's not really EMS because EMS, we pulled that out because we're charging the, uh, um, you know, the insurance fee for that. So we pulled that out as a per run basis. This is for fire service only. Therefore, be it resolved, this resolution for our services has been passed by Miami Township Board of Trustees at a public meeting January 22nd, 2020. Is there a motion to adopt a resolution 2020-04? I so move. I will second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Weecher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Just point of information, how many years have we been doing this? Many years. Decades? Well, it hasn't been since 1804, because we haven't been in the township since 1817. But it has been quite a while. All right, we have one additional resolution for the fire department. Uh, we have a uh, resolution 2019-05. And this is to hire a part-time employee. And it reads, where is the continuing need to exist? To maintain proper staffing with the fire department. No kidding. Whereas Luke Sorensen has acquired and demonstrated all the necessary qualifications to serve in the capacity of part time firefighter EMT for the uh, fire rescue department, and whereas Chief Altman has recommended the appointment of this candidate, and whereas funds are available for this purpose within the fire department's operating budget. Now, therefore, be resolved that Luke Sorensen shall be appointed to the position of part time firefighter EMT within the fire rescue department effective January 22nd, 2020. Is there a motion I for so this move. resolution? There is a motion. I will second the motion. Is there any further discussion regarding this motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. <coughs> okay, new firehouse report. Um, I have nothing specific other than what you see is what you get. If you drive out there, you'll see that the walls are going up in the office. Pretty exciting. Steel. Mm -hmm. Real life steel. Do they have to put fire code board inside those steel uprights? The two by fours? Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. I'm not That's sure what you mean by fire code board. There's but fire, the, fire two by four. Nothing, nothing burns. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's, there'd be fire code drywall. I'm not sure it'd be fire code. Well, at least you said that. it were treated like treated lumber, but it's for fire. And I didn't know if they, if they required well, these are there. steel. And yeah, and they went inside the steel uprights. Put in. No, no, none of the drywall will burn. Right. Okay. It'd be a shame for a firehouse to burn. Would it? That'd be ironic. I looked more closely at the storm shelter, and it's. I suppose a bomb might break it up, but it looks pretty solid. Well, it actually has missile-proof doors. I mean, that's what they're really? wow. they're specified as missile-proof doors. Maybe it's missile rebar down, down through the concrete. I don't know. There's a rebar. I don't want to live in that house. Let me just take a check. Sorry. To go to land block. Uh, going to be land block for the next couple of days, though. Okay, we're in last week. It's been too cold. Yeah. Just barely though. Mm -hmm. right along. Okay, so that's the firehouse report. How about Cemetery Road report? Okay. Well, we're going to have ashes this Saturday down here in Windforce. 
Yeah. You won't have one next Saturday. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I'll take this one and bring it and take the next one because I might be out of town. Yeah. Just let me know. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll be out of town. <laughs> um, got a couple of grades I want to top off. Try to do them tomorrow afternoon before the rain gets here. Okay. I talked to the monument companies. Dodds and Drake and told them they'll do the charges in the time frame, which is April 15th. It's the cutoff for the spring forward, it's September 15th. Now I will call them prior, right about that time, and see the date I forgot. But if they call me on the 16th, it's going to go on the next, next cycle. Mm -hmm. But they call after that date or say that. You know, Did you know, decide you didn't want to require a signed? Letter of request? I just spoke with you both. If you want no. a signed letter, I, I would come up with something that's in the Well, I mean, it, it, it seems to be one of those bones of contention for you. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to us. It is good to put it in writing. But Sometimes there's a change in personnel, and you what know, well, we talk to says, oh, who about, you know, they, they, well, they, go, they go away, and then somebody else goes. We weren't pouring for Dodge, we pour for everybody else here. Mm -hmm. And I just, we took over because we didn't, we didn't get satisfied work. And he wasn't on time, it was. I know, but the times when you get a call in July that says, uh, you know, I sent you a request for this in April, and you never, you never poured the base. That's why I'm trying to win, that's why I told him, you know, I said, if they don't, if I don't have it by this date. I know. But yeah. they say they send it to you. They, I mean, everybody I heard last year that yeah, they called. They, they said, yeah, well, you already have. We've already sent that to you. Okay. okay. And okay. they're supposed to be mailing them here, addressed to the cemetery. Mm -hmm. and I said, I need to get it if I don't have them. You know, so I, I told them I would check with them prior to the cutoff dates, which I probably shouldn't, but I did, mm -hmm. to see if there's anything that I don't have. So. It's okay, but I mean, if you want some writing, we will write something up. No, if, you, if you're if you're satisfied with it, and, and you don't think that you're going to have to go out there in the middle of July and pour one base. I, yeah. yeah, well, I think it's good to call and report to look and get report. Do I have all the? Well, I think we only poured twice, spring and the fall. You know, so I, I, mean, I know, but you poured about six times last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah call them, you know. I know. <laughs> and they were okay with the price increase, and it includes the three inch board. Mm -hmm. So we're not. Even that, like we did for a while. We did that for a while. Mm -hmm. so, if you want something in writing, we you know, come up with something. Uh, I'm happy if you're happy, but I'm okay. It's, okay. It's a problem when it does happen. As far as our mower replacement, mm -hmm. the Wilmington store, 68, where we don't, you know, they're not taking, you can't buy anything there if they're closed. Oh, really? It's all the way to the courthouse. And we're not going to the courthouse. Mm -hmm. So it's either John Deere London at 42, which is a half hour run, if I have to go there, or Canyon mm -hmm. to get a price. So I think I'm There's no place in South Charleston? Not for John Deere. And this was convenient. The Ag Pro bottom now already sold out. And yeah, that's now terribly convenient. That's still way down the street. Yeah, just below. Yeah. yeah. Just um, in Springfield, north like northwest of the mall. Go up the hill and there's oh, a that's boat. Coleman's, but they we'd like to have a John Deere. I, see. I didn't know if they we'd like like to John Deere or not. We have a Canix sells them in London forty two in London. Where's the Canix location? Dayton, I believe. Is it? I need to contact them and find their salesman and tell them what we're after. I'll do that. I was hoping to have it, but uh, that reminds me, uh, let's talk briefly before, well, it's still part of the cemetery, but <coughs> as everybody knows, the, the Clifton Cemetery runs pretty much on a uh, shoestring, and what's the motor going to cost? Roughly 20000 Yeah, no. 18000 20000 right, somewhere. Call it, let's call it twenty. Um, and we do charge, you know, we do charge five seventy five or whatever it is, an hour. For, for uh, material, or no, material, but depreciation or whatever they call yeah. it, which is meant to you know build up to buy a mower, which which is fine. But 
we never really put that in a dedicated fund, so there's not a big pot of $25,000 sitting there. Okay, uh, all this pre prefacing that, recall last year the county commissioners uh, made a grant to each political subdivision of a certain amount of money. We had $8,900 which we put into a dedicated fund to match funds for the Yellow Springs uh, Clifton Connector uh, program, which was not funded this past year, um, or this past cycle, but maybe in the future. But anyways, uh, Commissioner Kugler let me know that uh, we will be receiving a flat $10,000 this year, and I would like us to consider using that money uh, to help offset the cost of this mower for the, because it's almost pretty much dedicated to doing the, the Clifton Cemetery. It's new moral purchase. It's not, we own it doesn't the go back and forth, it's not being used on the roads, it's no. not. The cemetery doesn't know, we own the moral. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it's for the, for the cemetery primarily. Now, mm -hmm. we probably also might, do we mow the, uh, oh, it doesn't really matter, but like Cornell Circle. We've within, used it when the other mower's down, we've used it, yeah. you know, because we had to. The reason we would we have two mowers is because of the, tr the transportation between mm -hmm. two locations to avoid having to shuttle we, back. We, we can't the do mower. We, we, the cemetery mower stays at the cemetery. Right. That's what we use it for. If I need to use it, if the other one's down, I go get it and use it. And to move it, you have to put it on a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, we can't move it. Well, I'm, I'm happy with that. Cemetery mower. Mm -hmm. You don't do farms. Oh, no, no, no. The yeah. rail circle it's just, the pit. It's just you know, the shop. Point. It's not, we don't need a resolution. So we don't have, right. you know, don't have yeah. money and don't have anything to say about it. But I just, yeah. I just wanted to put that bug in your ear, as it were. And just for clarification, you said that the money was granted for community improvements. Is that what it was titled? No. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what they call it. I have to look back, I'd have to look back, or you'll see when you get it. I was thinking it was. I don't think it's community improvements, but. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, if you want, I can see the, if you want to trade the other one in. Mm -hmm. you know, and we still have 1145 if we need it for the broom because we can't put the broom on anything else. Okay. 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 Yeah, we have a broom because one of the bigger bars we use for the short one in the pit and stuff like that. And it has to have a secondary hydraulics. It's good. So if you want to get rid of it, we have to get rid of the broom at I don't think he'll take that during your job out there that we have sitting there. I wouldn't take it either. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to let me have the price to trade in on the, yeah, I guess. the cemetery where we have now. Mm -hmm. So we're still on cemeteries or have we started to shift to roads? Well, what would you prefer? Do you have any more cemetery chat? No. Okay, then I guess we'll go to roads. Okay. A couple, few more potholes to fill have showed up since the last pothole filling around. Did you stash your your coal patch or are you got you out of it? Oh no, no, I got some more. Sure. You got some more? Mm -hmm. I got some more. Okay. It's a little too cold this morning. You couldn't already work it. Is it like the asphalt materials bill? Mm -hmm. So hopefully in the morning, not the rest of the night. I'm gonna try to I'm try to do the graves tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> some guardrail, two pieces of guardrail for repair on John Mark Park. The last tree two weeks ago, so mm -hmm. took them out. They're there, but they're all bent to pieces. Mm -hmm. Can't make them out. But they're still good together. Is that still the old style? I mean, it, mm -hmm. uh, I got three pieces on them. Two bent and post in case I need to replace. Mm -hmm. so, they were donated. Yeah. They were. Did they know they were donated? Mm -hmm. Okay, just checking. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> A pile. We didn't have to. We didn't have to. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I called the dispatch and got everything straightened out there. We have you know, secondary contact now. That's good. Okay. And uh, that's all I had. I talked about the phone. Yeah. Talk about the what? Phone. Oh, the phone. Margaret's taking care of that. Yeah, Margaret's going to take care of that. She's good at that. Anything else for Rome? Uh, were we going to talk about the uh, requests? From the engineer of the engineer. Well, 
created. Right? Yes and no, but just we would schedule a, a tour. tour. Yeah, we'd have to do that. Soon? Soon. Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Friday? Yeah, uh, not that soon. <laughs> um, Friday might be wet, right? Friday's supposed to rain. Yeah. We can do it next week. I don't know how soon we usually mid February. Yeah, it's like Valentine's Day, it's the last day. February 12th last year. Yeah. Do we have the paperwork for it? Yeah. Our first meeting's on the 3rd. I think it's the 3rd. That's what they put down. Yeah, the next meeting, is that what it is? The 3rd? Yeah, the 3rd. Uh, yeah, theoretically, we could go. We could go that morning. Yeah, the morning the 3rd? If the weather's good, because it it's really pain, it's really worthless to do it when it's when it's wet. I mean, when it's wet or it's snowing, you know. I'm I'm busy. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Morning of the third. Okay. The fourth. That's Tuesday. Uh, that's the health district has mm -hmm. a, an event that morning. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Later that morning, we do it, or and then, and then we get into our conference. Mm -hmm. I could do it that weekend before. But ne no, not next Friday. We're, we're ahead. Of, we're, we're a week ahead here. But next Friday is the thirty first, right? Yeah. Because Saturday's the first. Yeah, we have all of next week. We, we have all of next week. Can we do it sometime next week? Or Can we do it Monday? Yeah, absolutely. Monday the twenty seventh works for me. That would work for me. Monday the 27th. Okay. okay. When? The shop at. Need the shop. So I need here, wherever you want. Uh, 830, I mean, we, we need some light. Yes. Out there. We we'll need here at 830? Or out there? No, oh, we can meet out there. Okay. Um, I, I'll, uh, I'll meet with this special meeting. We've, we've, in the past, we've made it a special meeting. Oh. Because we kind of decide as we go along. So we'll put, put it below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I have to clean up a couple of things before we move on. Just uh, Sorry I missed this. Um, did we talk at the last meeting about uh, how much the village waived fees for us, for hookups at the firehouse? You were going to find out if they were going to waive any fees. Okay, but I hadn't reported to that? No, because I just paid that bill. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I met with the village manager and, and uh, the utility director, and they had waived... They've waived uh, the uh, water hookup fee of eleven thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars. The, the sewer hookup fee of one thousand five hundred dollars. The electric hookup fee of two hundred and fifty dollars. And they've included a, a four-inch valve uh, that was in the new water arrangement uh, for twenty-two hundred dollars. And then something having to do because uh, it, we changed the way we rather the sewer to go on to Xenia Avenue instead of going from Herman Street to Xenia or back down or uh, to Livermore. Instead of Xenia on to Herman. Something yeah, like that. something like that. And then we let them do this. And that. But anyway, there's some stuff in there that they say that we got that we didn't pay for. Total value being, and this was supposed to be written down and we were supposed to receive this, but I have not received it yet. Total value of $35,902 in waivers from the village. So we will hopefully eventually see this broken down because uh, Jason, Jason, no, well, no, this doesn't, but you put in the additional stuff that. What was, know, the, what was the 11000 in change that, for? Uh, the water hookup, water tap fee. That is, you're saying we agreed to a change which has actually cost us some money in terms of extra pipe on our property. Yeah, but they've given us the pipe, or they've, yeah. they've given us the two manholes, or whatever the deal. But it's not really given it to us because 
we didn't need it. We were already engineered into it. Yeah, they, they, they preferred this other mm -hmm. uh, going into it instead of, as I understand it, instead of sending uh, our sewer to a pump station. To, yeah, that was yeah, that. Downtown and then to the pump station mm -hmm. will be gravity fed into a line that's new and larger than when we originally designed the building. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we'll... So they see it as an advantage for the overall system. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll look for that, that letter from them, but uh, that was in the, re that was in the, um, the meeting that, that I had with John and Ann uh, this way. So that's good. We appreciate, we certainly appreciate their... Uh, it, in that meeting, is there any, any further talk about drainage? Drainage? No. I just wanted to understand, because I wasn't part of the original design, I wanted to be uh, updated on what they saw the overall problems on Herman Street, not just from us, mm -hmm. but perhaps from Home Inc. and the ongoing issues from, or non-issues from the Friends Care Center. Mm -hmm. uh, because I'm sensitive to the, I'm making the assumption that we're going to see increases in rain and uh, therefore there may be problems downstream along that street. And I think they made calculations and I was well going to ask. But, uh, yeah, again without sitting down with the engineers, of course, MSA engineered it to Ohio standards where you can't. Yeah, what we've done on our side, I think, is extreme. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. It's eight foot down mm -hmm. for, uh, French drains and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh, it look like a little puddle, but it's actually a very deep uh, retention basin. Mm -hmm. But the street still has other issues, and I just thought it was worth asking. Yeah, and in the interest of knowledge, that's great, but it's not affected, whatever happens, is not going to be affected by us. Right. It could be affected by other things. I'm just bringing it up because you've been talking to them. And I... Yeah. Okay, one last thing that I have to clean up here, because I'm going back to, uh, I'm going back to uh, payment of the bills, and I believe for the first time in Township history, uh, we have paid tax on everything that the fire department submitted to. Uh, it, why do they have to go to Kroger's to buy everything, to take the time to go to Kroger's, take the cost to go to Kroger's, and pay the tax to go to Kroger's when they can buy it all either at Tom's or at Dollar General just slays me. Uh, lunch napkins, cutlery, plastic forks, uh, tonic water. Uh, you know, and just on and on and on. Plus seven percent. Yeah, plus seven percent. Uh, turkey stuffing mix. Uh, you can't get half and half at. Uh, I don't know. I just it just seems like. Important. Well, this was a, probably. I think this was a uh, either a Christmas or Thanksgiving meal that one of the firefighters decided to do for the firehouse. And probably just went to Kroger's and didn't think about it. Know, so. Well, they, I think there should be some thought put into this because. We're, we're paying these people to leave town, you know, and then Miami Township is being underserved because there are people at Kroger's instead of here at the firehouse waiting for the, you know, the alarms to go off, or even at Tom's waiting for the alarm to go off. What are you laughing about? Nothing. And then I've got these, I've got these road department bills that I, for the life I can't understand. For example, a Bluetooth AM FM something for $89.98. My headphones. Your headphones? That wear on the easel and the tractors and mowing. Yeah. Well, we are happy to provide ear protection. That's what are. It's that radio. Yeah, but ear protection would be twenty dollars, and AMFM Bluetooth is ninety dollars. I, 
that just work? Don, what do you think about that? I haven't seen this. Well, I didn't look. Okay. I mean, these are these are headphones that he wears when he's out mowing grass to protect his ears, which is certainly a legitimate expense. And we don't right. ask him to use the little press in gizmos into his ears. But the the radio is added is what you're saying. Correct. Though this is something separate. Okay. And I, I, it, it, doesn't, get, it doesn't seem to me to be part of the job. Uh, but maybe I'm prejudiced because I don't listen to the radio or watch the news. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll reimburse you for it. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I don't know what a, a good set of noise canceling headphones would be. Well, yeah. they were, you know, 50 something that they've gone on. Well, I mean, without the radio, what a good set of uh, probably 30, 30 bucks, probably. earphones or ear protectors or whatever you call those things. Just think about it, please. Sure. Um, what was, Lowe's is getting terrible to figure out what it's, you know, what stuff is. $41 uh, quarter inch by inch and a half by four foot. You bought three of those. Um, I just wonder what it is. I used them somewhere. Quarter inch by three foot WLD STL. What's the date on it? Twelve eighteen. Yeah. Is it rebar? Think about concrete too. Oh yeah. That's metal. I used them for something. <laughs> sure you did. I did. <laughs> I just can't. Some. <laughs> okay. All right. That's something. Well, let's try another one. Uh, Three LT white racetrack and GE sixty watt LED bulbs. That's for the bathroom wall. I replaced the light in that. Okay, what was the white racetrack? Forty eight inch ash something something or another. And then I do know what quick read is. Very much track. There should be a light and bulbs. With this figure. That's the line. Oh, that's the, the line. bracket. Oh, so you had to put a new fixture in. Yeah, I changed the fixture. Okay, that's, yeah. And then they took light bulbs. It's not a racetrack for your racetrack. No, no, race cars. It's for your toy room. Yes. Yeah. All right, thank you for the uh, clarification. Something I use that for something. That's, I, I, that's I very informative. <laughs> you use it for something. So I'm gonna find out now so I can cook. Okay, we'll move to uh, any further uh, cemetery or road no. or anything else that we no, can talk about. Just repeat that we have set a date for the uh, what mon Monday the twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Okay. Yep. Okay, we'll move to the fiscal so fiscal officer's report. Had to amend our temporary appropriations, and that was um, that's resolution 2020-06, amendment of temporary appropriations. It is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to these townships. So the uh, trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriation. That is an um, <coughs> zoning five hundred dollars, but that was to pay for the um, zoning. Yeah, 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 gift cards. That's all. <laughs> That's my story. I think that, I think that usually comes out of other, and it's already in there from the year before because it all was overlapped. Sometimes, yeah. Some it depends on when when the purchase is made and when I get the bill, and it was on the credit card that I didn't get because that that credit card until now. So yeah, so it, we paid probably paid last year paid for it mm -hmm. okay. last year. When, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. it, just, it just fell at a different time. So that's the story. All right. Uh, is there a motion to approve Resolution 2020-06, Amendment of Temporary Appropriations? I so move. I'll second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing that, may we vote please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Um, 
So we'll we'll be looking at our um, current appropriations here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So Don, I know you're kind of fresh in that department, but um, I have the um, year-end expenditures on the table in there for 2019, so we know how much we spent last year on everything. I mean, on each line item. So you're welcome to look at that and project. Um, I can make more copies if you want to pencil something else in or move some money around for this and that. I thought we were going to go over the last meeting, and I thought we were going to go over this meeting. But why did you say that? The temporary to. appropriations. Well, just to we just approved the temporary appropriations last no, meeting, and uh, not the temporary, but the the um, the appropriations for 2019 versus what was what was in in the revenue stream. Um, how how sure close we came to expecting. how close we came to. So, uh, when again is our deadline? Uh, April, April March. Well, why don't we plan on talking about it next meeting? It's up to you guys. I'm just telling you what you know, what the inf what, what, whatever information you want me to provide for you to look at and come up with your ideas, I can do that. But <clears throat> I mean, like I told you, what's on the table? I can make more of those. Or my, um, my biggest, my my broadest general overall notion is that we put in an arbitrary start with an arbitrary uh, padding, overestimating, and then look and see, oh, well, that's really unnecessary, that's unnecessary. Uh, because I'm embarrassed at our string of end-of-year tweaking. Embarrassed? You're embarrassed? Rather than saying, you know, come January, oh, we didn't spend all that. Instead, we had all these times where we added to the appropriation. Right, so I I'm guess. I'm not used to operating that way. Well, um, we could certainly, um, I think in the past, we've made a point to try and um, <clears throat> be as conservative as we can in our appropriations to, you know, to, I guess, keep our belt tight. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> but um, in, based on the previous years, <clears throat> salaries in the fire department are uh, only going up. I mean, so we, that's an automatic thing, and that which mm -hmm. in turn causes the Ohio Police and Fire Pension Fund money to go up. Health insurance has dropped. Um, it's all, um, it's kind of, it's kind of. I don't want to say a crapshoot, but you know, I mean, you, you, you know, you can't, you can't do it to the dime, but we do try and keep it tight. That's it's the 1800s I mean. version. <laughs> well, we have a we shape. can certainly, we can certainly put cushion on each appropriation. We can do whatever we want. I mean, in, the, in that department, as long as we don't, uh, um, as long as we don't over appropriate what the money we have currently available to spend. It's that well, simple. Thing the system will let you do it. The state, the economy will let you do it. It's the last, the last two <laughs> years, which items, which line items, went up beyond what was projected, and why, and are those. Therefore, would those be line items that we should pay? Yeah, yeah, and they, you know what you know what they were <coughs> primarily that last month and those last couple of weeks was salary. Mm -hmm. We have a, a tradition of trying our best to not appropriate more than our revenue at the time. Well, well you're definitely, not you're not allowed. You're not allowed. I agree with that. Yeah. And traditionally, we begin the year with less revenue than what we end up the year with because we haven't accrued any interest. We haven't had any uh, we haven't had any payments from Green Township. We haven't uh, you know generally we get additional revenue over and above what we're budgeted. It's not a whole lot, but it helps us, you know, for the end of the year mm -hmm. we make these additional things. So like Margaret says, it's not an exact science and we've had very good luck, in my opinion, of taking, uh, if we're watching throughout the year exactly what we're spending and making sure that it's either not too much or too little and trying to uh, adjust that at the end of the year. If we've only spent 56% of this fund, then we'll pull that additional $500 out of that one uh, to go into next year. And we, we want, I mean, ultimately, we'd, we'd like to have 100% of all of those line items be spent at the end of the year, 
you know, that would be, that'd be great. Then we would know that we could just roll it over to the next year, throw 2% on, and, and we'd, we'd be close to it. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to 100% on, on a good I, deal of those. Yeah. I agree. I mean, you know, it wasn't a huge amount of, you know, um, mm -hmm. shortage. You know, it's just mm -hmm. nitpicky stuff. I, I would agree that at the end of the year, after all is said and done, that we run a pretty tight ship. Uh, but what you just said, nitpicky, it seems like we inconvenience ourselves. Yeah. You know, in, in the spirit of, of, and it's inconveniencing you more than yeah, anyone yeah, else, I, I, in the I, spirit really of being tight, uh, I think we could still be tight, but have the, uh, the, the napkin folded over one more time. Right. So a little the, broader. So uh, the way to do that, way, what I can do is um, look at the past few years, our, our last minute resolutions, mm -hmm. and what line items are they, are, is, uh, are we dealing with? And and I know it's pretty much, it's salary. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 and you know, sometimes, it's, so sometimes Dan has, you know, a massive amount of snow. So, and a lot um, of them are little things, $250. I know, and it's just, you know, it's just, Salary, so that's where we'll that's where we'll cushion, if anything. Most of it is pretty predictable otherwise. If that we're on a time crunch at the moment, and so I'm gonna to need to move along okay. this particular meeting. We can that's fine. It, we can pick it up as we go along. Yeah. So I'm so, suggesting anyway, we talk next uh, two weeks from now we can go over the Okay. That's certainly a good idea. All right, I'm going to um, skip the standing committee reports for the for the evening and move on to new business. We have uh, a resolution 2027. It's the resolution to designate Yellow Springs Development Corporation as an economic agent for Miami Township pursuant to the Ohio Advised Code, Chapter 1724. Uh, I'm not going to read it all. It's been available for review for the last few weeks. Uh, so I'll entertain a motion to adopt that 2020-07 resolution. I'm, I so move. Okay, I will second that adoption. Uh, is there any further discussion regarding that? Only to say that we have discussed this. We have repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Okay, hearing no further discussion, may we vote please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Okay, uh, is there any old business this evening? Before we adjourn, I'd like to move into executive session to discuss purposes of real estate. Uh, is there a motion? I so move. So, executive session at 6.55. And we will uh, conclude the public portion of this meeting now. Uh, we will move back into it for adjournment, but we will not uh, keep the camera on or the... Uh, Are we going to have a vote on anything? We'll vote on moving to executive session. Okay. But after the executive session, we no. not anticipate... There will, there will be no... Okay. No, no resolution plan. No action. So, is there a motion to move to executive session? I so move. I'll second that. That would be to 656-ish. And I also wanted to show this is the color of the new firehouse. <laughs> That's part of the new firehouse report. That is. We have skipped around the reports. That's all due to the last time. <laughs> all, all in right. favor? Aye. Aye. So, everyone have a uh, safe... Thank <laughs> you.